Ah, nature. It's refreshing and overall very inspiring. But it's missing one thing, and I'm talking about sick dubstep beats. Fortunately for us, a revolutionary startup solved that issue. Only problem, it's 281 euros, which is for Americans around $2,000 or something like that. It's too expensive, and I can make it cheaper, better, and more efficient. So why build a plant listener, and why now? Well, it has come to my attention that there's quite a lot of wildfires going on around here, there, a bit there as well. And if I learned something from business school, it's to always capitalize on natural catastrophes. Okay, so now we all agree that my motivations are pure. We need to check what's needed for this aberration. So first of all, we have electronics, and I have no idea what any of these are. Fortunately for us, I have this box, which is basically its own scrape yard. Okay, uh, next we have a deep understanding of software engineering. And finally, we have a healthy plant, which I have right here. That should do it. But now you have a very valid question, which is, why is there, why can a plant speak in a, how, how, how do plants speak? Well, I've been wondering the same thing too. And it turns out plants have little electric currents going through them, just like humans do. When, for example, the police doesn't like their skin tone. So we just have to find those electrical currents, but I don't think I have what's needed to find those electrical currents. Well, no need to worry, since the very nice man from the children's hospital next door told me I could take as many as I want, as long as I stopped harassing him. Excellent, those fuckers can sense electrical current in pretty much anything. Now let's do the rest of the circuit. So the current from these electrodes is going to be enhanced by this amplifier and translated from actual waves to computer language by this piece. And finally, sent to this tiny computer, which will process it and then show it on my screen in the form of a wave. Now, there's no wave, and that's because the current of the plant is actually too low for now. So I'm gonna have to calibrate the whole system. So I tried scaring the plant, and that clearly did not work. Because apparently, plants don't have eyes, which is kind of lame. But I'm gonna try something different. Yep, that's it. So plants can actually feel touch and harm and all that kind of thing, and they can't see, unfortunately. So I attached a speaker to it and actually touching it created that sound. So now that we have a signal coming from the plant, finally, we're gonna be able to improve that sound with different variables that I'm gonna input through, uh, for example, the temperature and moisture sensor, the light sensor, and finally, the soil sensor, because the moisture sensor just wasn't enough. So I put on my big boy pants, sat on my desk and got started. It might look intense here, but I really didn't know what I was doing. And here's the result of it. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, it seems I may potentially have made a mistake. Sorry, my bad. Uh, since both my eardrums are fucking busted and I received this eviction notice from the building owner. But it's okay, I'm used to redoing entire fucking projects from the beginning. So what was it bad to begin with? Well, we have this signal, you see? It's very constant, very linear. And I was mapping every single point to actually make a sound out of it. And that was not the right way to do that. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at every peak of that signal and try to make a harmonious uh, transition between them. All right, so after weeks of forgetting about this project, then burning through amplifiers because my soldering skills are absolutely non-existent, I printed a little box for it and I put all the sensors together. Here is the soil sensor. So I'm gonna plant this inside the plant. Hopefully it will stick. The electrodes, fuck, it doesn't stick. All good. Connecting the electrodes, I'm gonna launch the software and let it fucking rip. Computers are hard. Wait. And let it rip. I got no sound. <laughs> it's fucking disturbing. Fuck, why? Okay, 
it's debugging time. Debugging time. It's debugging time. Okay, so after hours of last minute readjustments, this should be working. I took off the case. Here's, here's the case. It took like five hours to print, but I don't need it anymore. We gotta put this into the dirt where it fucking belongs. Nice. It doesn't work every time though. Maybe I have some, I still have some noise. So I'm gonna make some readjustments and I'll, I'll be back, I'll be back for more. Fuck. So that's it, I found out what the problem was, is that I'm an absolute fucking dumbass and I don't know anything about music theory. But in the couple of months that it took me to make those four minutes of videos, I picked up a thing or two about making sounds. So you start with a wave, sine, so tooth, square, then you apply frequency modulation to it to make it change a bit over time, put everything into an envelope, manage the attack, the case sustain release, it's like the, the lifespan of the sound. On that, you apply some uh, low frequency oscillation to make it wobbly, a couple of effects, delay for echoes, reverb for like, I'm in a cathedral kind of effect, and, and that's basically it. But you're not here for that, are you? You're not here to see how much I've grown, how much I've learned. You're here to see me go outside and stick fucking electrodes onto plants. Well, go fuck yourself. You can listen to me talk about coding for two minutes straight now. So, it's nerd time. So we set up a bunch of variables that are not going to make sense until you see the rest of the code. A bunch of scales, a server booting, a, what is that? Feedback, chorus, but that, ooh, that's boring. That's boring. What you want to see is how I read the data from the Arduino code and then input all of that into something else. And then all of that fancy shit goes to sleep for a certain amount of time with a bit of randomness inside because otherwise, what's the word? It's, um, yeah, it's boring again. So until there's a big frequency change, nothing moves. Now, what is a frequency change? Well, it's when the plant reacts to, to touch or to light or to whatever makes a plant horny. And this is when the effects come into play. There's the delay, the reverb, the chorus. That's all the ones I've, I've memorized because I don't have the code here. This, this is a green screen. I fold it. Now that's better. I took Shrek, I put him out, and now it is my swamp. And I got my electrodes, I got my robot, and I got plants to, to stick electrodes onto. Like the point of the whole video. That, that, was, that was the point. So let's do it. 